It's track day at Laguna Seca and I can't be more excited. Let's go. I'm excited about today. I am. I am, but this is not how I wanted to start it. Let me elaborate. This happened last night. I was literally exiting the freeway to go home and it was an absolute downpour. And unbeknownst to me, as I was exiting, there was a foot and a half of just standing water at the exit. And you couldn't see it because it was dark. And the rain was coming down so hard, it was kind of clouding the view. But I hit the water at, I don't know, maybe 40-ish miles per hour. And uh, it completely ripped off my front lip my APR carbon fiber front lip. I mean, it's, it's carbon fiber, it's not weak. So the amount of force that had to have gone through this thing, look at it, it's completely destroyed. And I mean, the whole thing is gone except for this little corner. The rest of it is gone. So very likely to get some understeer today, unfortunately, because I just lost a bunch of downforce in the front. Just really unfortunate. Uh, it is Laguna Seca, so maybe a little bit more forgiving as far as uh, front downforce is concerned. Nevertheless, it is performance lost. Um, it's a little wet right now. It is gonna rain later today. I hope it stays clear. I'm hoping to get two clear sessions. This is the big shakedown today. This is a big, big shakedown. So a lot of changes since the last time we were out here. Mainly, the big thing are the AST Doteki spec coilovers. And uh, for those of you who did not watch that install video, so here are the top hats. There's a res reservoir just um, zip tied on for now because we don't have a mounting solution yet. Uh, the shocks are in the wheel well, which you can't see. So besides the coilovers, we also have the uh, RV6 front compliance mounts. And uh, that's, that's really it since the last time we've been out on the track. I mean, it, granted, it is, it is a good amount of change. I'm really excited to try these coilovers. And actually, as part of the coilover install, our alignment is finally good. So we're at negative 2.8 in the front, negative 1.9 in the rear. So a decent, decent uh, difference between the front and rear. So that should help with my loss of front downforce. But man, I was really looking forward to um, trying this car out with nothing else changed and just the coilovers. But having said that, we have some brand new tires today. Uh, these are street legal tires, so I haven't gone to slicks yet. I probably will do that at some point later this year. But um, I wanted to get another set of street tires to go for the street tire lap record for a 10th or 11th gen type R at Laguna Seca. Currently Jeps holds the record 136.49 on uh, 
on 200 treadwear tires by Jeps. I mean, that's an insane time. So some of the differences, obviously his car is an FK8, mine is an FL5. Um, he's running about 100 horsepower more than what I'm currently running. Uh, with a 100 octane map, I'm at a, I'm approximately 420. Uh, Jeps was over 500, so there's definitely some difference there. And at Laguna Seca, power definitely counts for a lot. But I don't care. I'm going for it anyways, because I'm here with brand new Sticky Boys, and I'm going for it. All right, we're all set up. Wheels are on. Tires are adjusted. Pressure is good. Lip is still missing. <laughs> and I decided to sign up for the uh, Speed SF time trial, so... What the hell? When in Rome, right? So anyways, it, it's gonna be a fun day, guys. Um, you know, I just haven't been out to the track in a while. I'm just happy to be out here. I hope the car does well. Uh, I hope the lack of uh, front end downforce doesn't hurt me too much. But um, yeah, these, these tires, this is the first time I'm running these tires of the Eagle uh, RS. So they're sticky boys. They're, they're definitely sticky, but make no mistake, they are street legal tires okay they're not slicks um so we're going for the street legal tire track record first uh if and when i get that i will throw slicks on the car and come after jason you know i forgot to mention one of the mods that uh, went on this car before the last time or since the last time that we were out is the hell oil cooler so that guy right there now, I've, I've heard various feedback from a couple of people who've been running it for longer than I have. The consensus is, is that it's not really making much of a difference. Um, fortunately and unfortunately, today is cool enough that I don't think it's going to make a difference anyways. I could have no oil cooler and it's not going to matter because it's, it's just, it's cold enough. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to get a good gauge on how well the oil cooler works today. I will keep an eye on temperatures just like I do. Uh, we'll see, May maybe it will come down. If it gets warm enough, maybe it will matter later in the day. But anyways, let's head out for our first session. session one done uh by I, I ended the session about two-thirds of the way through it's just way too slippery out there um it's not raining but it was raining crazy heavy last night and uh first session of the day the track is still wet 
Uh, no one could really pu uh, push it at all. So it, it just wasn't worth it. I'd rather save my tires uh, if that's the case. Hopefully some of these other sessions will um, dry up the track. So next session, we should be able to do a push lap there. Just uh, couldn't get any heat into the tires. Couldn't get any traction. Uh, couldn't even really tell if the lack of downforce in the front was a problem because I wasn't really even able to get up to speed. So it's fine. Uh, it's, it's still fun. Uh, slid around a little bit, uh, which is funny in a, in a front wheel drive car, but um, there's definitely some counter steering going on when it's wet out, even in a front wheel drive car. So anyways, uh, car feels good. Otherwise, uh, the new brake, brake pads uh, still probably need a proper bed in. Uh, there was some vibration there. Um, I'm not overly concerned about it. One or two good hard brakes into turn two and it'll it'll be done. So anyways, uh, wait for the next one, head out and see what happens. Right, session two done and a new PB 138.53 I'm happy but disappointed at the same time because the car is understeering like crazy absolutely everywhere okay that's due to a couple things um, you know lack of front arrow is definitely not helping me right now that lip that got ripped off but it's it's at low and high-speed turns when I got off the track, I checked my tire temperatures and they were way over what they needed to be. So I was overheating my tires and therefore they were just getting greasy and just not gripping at all. So um, I needed to be at 30 PSI hot on these tires. That's where they're, they're happy. They were at 39, 39 hot. So I uh, made the adjustment there, made a small tweak to the suspension. AST was beautiful. I've never in my FK8 or this FL5 been able to run over a sausage curb on any racetrack without disrupting the total balance of the car. I can run over the curb like it's not even there. It's, it's absolutely incredible how well it just soaks up those big bumps and nothing. The car stays planted. Now, I mean, besides the understeer, of course, but that's just some tweaks. Um, Big part of that too is the rear sway bar is on full soft right now. I really need to stiffen that back up. Unfortunately, I just, it's a bit of an oversight on my part. Um, I was hoping uh, Rich was gonna be here today, but 
um, I, I didn't bring my tools with me or enough of my tools anyways to, to make those adjustments. So, <sighs> man, I, I just, I know, I know for sure there's a 37 in the car. I know for sure there's a 37. And if I can get all the adjustments that I can't do here at the track, and if I have my arrow and everything is, you know, all the stars are aligning, I might even be able to hit a 36, which is really where I was hoping to be today. But uh, I mean, we'll, we'll keep tweaking, we'll, we'll keep trying. The brakes are fine now. They're no longer stuttering. Uh, they're properly bedded in. Uh, the temps were actually pretty good. Uh, this session was good. I didn't see the oil get above 255, which is really good considering how hard I was pushing the car. I did have to end my session early though, because I blew sound, which is just, that blows my mind because I have my exhaust closed. I've never blown sound before here at Laguna Seca in, in my Type R, this one or the previous one. So I think part of that is because I'm carrying so much more speed through the turns than I was before. I'm, I'm at the very tippy top of the RPM range now in third gear specifically when I'm coming out of a turn. I mean, I, I, could, I could almost short shift into fourth gear. Uh, the problem is I'm, I'm mid turn when I'd have to short shift. So I, I need to play around with that. I need to figure out my, my gear selections now. Because the speed that I can carry is just, it's, it's totally different. I mean, the, the AST coilovers are just amazing. It's, it's the surrounding components and settings that I need to get adjusted to fully utilize that setup. Uh, the tires are good. They're, I think the camber is just about right. Maybe a little bit more camber in the front, maybe. Uh, rear is fine. It's, it's hard to tell, you know, it's like with the other stuff that's not exactly right at the moment, it's hard to tell if I need more camber or if I just need to adjust, you know, the, the compression and the rear sway bar and have my arrow back on the car and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if, even if I were to adjust the camber now, I might just be putting a bandaid on the situation and, and not actually fixing the problem, so. Um, yeah, Speed SF Challenge later. We do have one more session before Speed SF Challenge. We will go out for that uh, just to make sure the car is happy. See what we got. But a new PB, 3853. Happy for that. Let's see if we can do better. Well, my day is officially done. I blew sound twice, um, blew a 95 decibel and a 94 decibel this last session, and that's it. They won't let me back on because there isn't anything mechanical on the car I can change to uh, bring that sound within spec. I can change my driving style, 
but if I can't physically change something on the car, then it doesn't count as like an actual change. So unfortunately my day is done. Uh, today, I mean, I'm always chasing lap times, guys. You know that. Um, you know, if I can come come here on a day when I don't really have sorted suspension, I can somehow uh, achieve some type of track record. I will. I'm I'm always going for it. I don't care what day it is. So, but having said that, the main purpose of today was a shakedown of the uh, AST Moton suspension. Absolutely spectacular setup absolutely spectacular i would say that is definitely the highlight of the day for me was a asc moton suspension i've never the car has never felt this stable i've never been able to carry this much speed the proof is in the pudding because i've never been at such a high rpm uh coming out of turns you know and i wouldn't be able to be at that high rpm if i wasn't carrying more speed and that's definitely the suspension going to work there. I mean, the tires definitely have um, uh, something to do about that. But holy moly. Um, I know for sure we didn't see the full potential of the coilovers just because of other aspects in the suspension that we couldn't get adjusted. Um, I was going to make another adjustment to the rebound in the rear to help with some of the understeer um and unfortunately we just never had another session to see if uh if that was going to make a favorable change or not so unfortunately the day is done i'm all packed up i'm flashing my car back to the 91 tune and then um we're gonna head out of here on another note i will say the oil cooler did make a noticeable difference. It absolutely did. I did not see the temperature go above 285 Fahrenheit. On a day like today, about 74 degrees Fahrenheit, it was actually fairly warm. Um, it would have been over 300 Fahrenheit for sure, for sure, without that oil cooler. So it's doing something. It's definitely doing something. Um, is it enough? Probably not. You know, it. Uh, I probably need some more cooling. Uh, 285, although it's better than where uh, a typical Type R would be in these conditions, pushing it hard. Um, it's not perfect, right? It's. It could definitely have some improvement, but it did make a difference. So, um, let's see. I mean, the the arrow not having a proper splitter in the front. I mean, even with the APR lip that got ripped off last night, uh, and that unfortunate accident um even if i had that lip it definitely would have helped it would have helped for sure but it's not like a like a proper splitter right it's not a splitter that that actually anyways yeah it's it helps but it's not a full-blown splitter i need a splitter i definitely need a splitter i don't have enough air on the front of the car at all at all and um it, it's really hard to tell today if uh, how much of the lack of arrow in the front came into play and uh you know the car the car understeering as much as it did uh, you know high speed it was very obvious the lower speed stuff is less to do with arrow uh, that's going to be more mechanical grip and you know there's tweaks that i made to the suspension to help with that maybe stiffening the rear sway bar maybe not 100 percent sure uh that's necessary yet so anyways uh 138.53 that is another pb by about eight tenths of a second from the last time i was out here yes i do have the fl5 uh track record around laguna seca and probably around thunder hill too but i i want all the records i want the just the straight up type r lap records uh everywhere up here so we're gonna get there um it's it's still in development the car is still new uh i, I made a lot of changes and um, i just need to get out to more track days and play around with settings and uh you know figure out what combination of parts and settings is a magic sauce but we are definitely going to get there so I always appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think about today's video. If you enjoyed uh, watching me fumble around with the settings, 
uh, let me know. But that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi and I'm out. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming out. Oh look, who's reaching out? Old friends want to feature now. They don't work, so they need it free. Ooh, you reaching out from the west side of that old town. But it's